breaking news that's coming in from the national capital where we learn that the prime minister is all slated to speak in the lok sabha on 13th 14th of december and on 16th 17th in the rajya sabha that's the big breaking news that's coming in ashwarya senior editor senior executive editor joins me on the broadcast ashwarya what is the prime minister's statement going to be about in the parliament well uh, there a meeting just took place in the chambers of the honorable speaker lok sabha and after that this discussion or this uh, this consensus has been agreed to that on the 13th and 14th of december in lok sabha and on 16th and 17th in rajya sabha there will be a discussion on the constitution on the eve of the 75 years completion and in that the prime minister will be giving out a statement in both the houses 13th 14th in lok sabha 16th and 17th in rajya sabha it's going to be very very important because we've seen ever since 2024 general elections uh, the opposition has made it an issue that uh, to to hit on the ruling dispensation and categorically naming the prime minister that they want to change the constitution that they want to make certain in principle changes in constitution and that right. will make the statement of the prime minister on the discussion of constitution completing 75 years very important in both houses thank you in the studio right ashwarya That's the latest breaking news that's coming in from the national capital where Prime Minister Modi is all slated to speak on the constitution a debate on the constitution in the parliament remember it's on the 13th or 14th of December where he will be speaking in the Lok Sabha and 16th or 17th in the Rajya Sabha all eyes on all eyes will be on the prime minister's address remember this also comes at a time when the India alliance has been insulting the constitution be it using it as a prop or rahul gandhi for that matter distributing blank pages of the constitution a debate on the same a debate on constitution in parliament will be done where prime minister modi is all slated to speak on 13th or 14th of december in the lok sabha and 16th or 17th in the rajya sabha Now the Pakistan Cricket Board is slowly showing signs of saying yes to the hybrid model for Champions Trophy 2025 as proposed by the ICC. The BCCI has remained firm on its stand of not sending the Indian cricket team to Pakistan for the upcoming ICC event. The Champions Trophy is returning after a gap of over 7 years. Earlier the PCB had said that it will that Pakistan will not accept the hybrid model, but the ICC will by no means conduct the tournament without India's participation as it could cause them a huge financial loss. Here's a report by Republic Sports Fit. There is a lot of speculation going around on whether India will be a part of the upcoming Champions Trophy 2025 which is being hosted by Pakistan. India have cited that they will not be traveling to Pakistan due to security concerns and a solution in the form of an hybrid model of the tournament was sprung up. The Pakistan Cricket Board earlier suggested that they will not be accepting the hybrid model but it would seem that the PCB and their chief Mohsin Naqvi have taken a U-turn and are ready to accept the hybrid model. backing down from its boycott threat the pakistan cricket board has told the icc that it is willing to accept the hybrid model for hosting next year's champions trophy provided the world body allows the same arrangement for events to be held in india till 2031 What was divulged by a PCB source in Karachi was all but confirmed by its chief Mohsin Naqvi in Dubai hours later. The tournament is scheduled to be held in February March. India have refused to travel to Pakistan citing security concerns. I don't want to comment too much because that can ruin things. We have given our point of view to the ICC. The Indians have also given theirs. The effort is to ensure a win-win for all. Cricket should win. That's most important, but with respect for all. We are going to do what's best for cricket, whichever formula we go for. It would be on equal terms. Till 2031, 
India are due to host their ICC men's events. The 2020-60-20 World Cup jointly with Sri Lanka, the 2029 Champions Trophy and 2031 ODI World Cup jointly with Bangladesh. Given that Bangladesh and Sri Lanka are co-hosts for two major events, Pakistan would not be compelled to travel to India if they insist against it. The point of contention could be just the 2029 Champions Trophy, which will be held entirely in India. Another flashpoint could be next year's Women's ODI World Cup in October, also to be held in India. The world body eventually told PCB to either accept the hybrid model or to be prepared to be excluded from the tournament after Nakpi reiterated the unyielding position of his country. This has led to a delay in the announcement of the schedule for this particular tournament. Nakwi, who is also the interior minister in his country, faces the prospect of a public backlash if PCB is seen to be backing down without any tangible gains. Earlier in the day, he met Emirates Cricket Board head Mubashir Usmani in Dubai, conveying that Pakistan was ready to host the Champions Trophy and all the preparations were on the schedule.